Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of It, I am Penge and today we are going to take a quick look at Snowtopia which is a ski resort building game as you could probably have guessed from all this beautiful scenery in front of you and mighty beautiful it looks too. You've got some lovely snow, some mountains, lovely blue sky with you know, some wispy sort of clouds, there's trees, there's little ski chalet things, that's good, there's uh, statues of whatever they are, bears? <laughs> Bear, are they bears? Mice? I don't know what they are. Statues of something which I've not quite determined. And then this building here, the main skiing building. This one here, I don't, what is that called? I don't know what that's called. The main ski building. It's got a chimney and window, so you know, it must be very, very important. So yes, a game all about setting up a ski resort. I thought it looked quite interesting. Now, as you could probably guess from the big letters here, where it says Open Alpha, this is Alpha. This game is in Alpha. This is the first version of the game that has been released. So because it's Alpha, we know what to expect. It's not even anywhere vaguely near finished and there may be bugs and problems and all that kind of stuff. However, because it's open, you can go and grab a copy of this very version I'm playing now and go and have a little go at this yourself if you so wish. I will put a link to their website in the video description below. Now I think there were three versions of this. There was Windows, there was uh, Mac and there was Linux or Linux, however you want to say it. I think they were the three versions that this is now available for, this particular sort of uh, demo alpha version, which is quite good. It's good that it's available for those three. So yes, if you want to go and grab this yourself, then you can indeed do so. Uh, there's no release date for this game as of yet, but they are going to apparently start a Kickstarter campaign at some point in the near future, according to the website. So here we go. Right, I'm, I'm just going to preface this. I'm going to preface this by saying I know nothing about skiing, except it involves skis and snow and hills <laughs> so that that is it i know nothing so if there's anything technical in this if there's anything technical at all in this game to do with skiing that i'm expected to know then we may be in some trouble okay right here we go let's play some snowtopia okay so the game has loaded up it's day one at eight in the morning and we've got a little beginner's guide up in the corner very lovely i imagine moving the camera rotating the camera zooming in and out is going to be fairly simple stuff so yeah okay all mouse and was SD keys and all that kind of stuff and we've got ourselves a little kind of ski resort I guess it would be with the little chalets which is lovely and then that thing whatever that thing is called I don't know the ski middle the ski center I'm just going to call it the ski center I don't know so that's quite nice that's, that's what we saw before there's the statues of the weird bear things I don't really know why they're there and the place looks the map looks very big oh there's some glorious mountains up there check that out I mean is that is that dangerous if we try and run a ski thing down there? A ski, uh, what? The ski track? What is it? What is the thing called a ski slope? A ski slope, a ski track, a ski slope. Is that a bit dangerous if we try and do that? And that looks lethal to me. I don't think we should do that. So, um, okay, how big is the map? Oh, crikey, the map is very big. So, yeah, so all the way over there. Oh, there's a mountain here with a glorious, a glorious drop. We've got to be able to get something down there. Hang on, there's a thing there. Is that us? No, that's... Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. Now I'm confused. There's two. There are two ski resorts. There's one there, and there's one just there. Okay. Right. Well, there's two. Is one my enemy or something? I don't know. Okay, right. Well, let's go through the... Let's go through the list of things. So, build a ski lift. Okay, right. They look like ski lifts to me. Let's click this. Uh, we've also got a little sort of count in the corner of beginners. Slalomers, daredevils, and experts. Oh, I would be so far off beginner. I'd be up here somewhere. I'd be, can you put your own skis on? No. Okay, right, fine. We're at that level, are we? Um, so, okay, right, here we go. So, a surface lift, a chair lift, or a gondola. Um, a chair lift? I mean, where do we want to build our first ski slope? Um, there? That looks like a pretty good, that's like a pretty good spot. Okay, so a chair lift. How about we go for a chairlift? Oh, what's that say? Collision is blocked by cliff rock. Uh, I wish, uh, cliff rock should move out of the way. Uh, okay, so we want to build it up here. So the top of it can go up here because then I want the ski slope to start up there. So can we build that there? Oh, and it stretches. Okie dokie. Um, okay, so it can stretch to there. Okay, is that what we want it to do? Click. 257 meters. Okay, good. Is that good? Right, I've built a ski lift. Design a ski run. A ski run. A run. That's what I got. I assume that's what that is. So a medium or a large. Well, let's have a medium then. Um, okay, so we go... Do we need to connect that? 
Is this something we need to... It seems to snap. The circle is snapping to this little sort of gridded area just there. Maybe we need to click that. And then... Oh, it draws a little draws a little path onto it. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what the red... Is the red saying that it, your, the, the Porsche is going to be in immediate peril? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, right. Let's, let's put it uh, there. That's good for skiing. Yay. Uh, and then... And then I assume we just keep clicking until it forms like a suitable path. Uh, it's got red, it's got red, red bits. Is that, does that mean it's dangerous? <laughs> I really don't know. And then there, are we supposed to come in here to the bottom of this? Are we supposed to snap to the bottom of that? Is that what we're supposed to do? Hang on, how, what does it say on designer ski run? Set the steps of the trail at your desired location. I've clicked there. Do we do that? Ooh. Oh, it's turned it into a thing. It's turned it into a run of some sort, but I don't know exactly whether that's working or not. I mean, it looks pretty terrifying to me. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. How do people get there? Oh, look, there's another dotted area thing there. There is another dotted area thing just there. Oh, am I supposed to connect these up? Hang on, hang on. Right, hang on, wait there. Chairlift from... Uh, um, um, I don't know there maybe there to there does that now mean people can come in so they can get the chairlift from this area up here and then go on this one up to the top of there and then go yay i'm on a ski slope okay that's fine ah ah okay right this is an expert course because presumably it's red so red means this is lethal. But look, we have three expert skiers. Okay, how about we get a slightly less mind-bendingly terrifying course thing in? Gondola, that sounds fun. I don't know what that does. But let's have one of those going up there. Um, oh, that's more my thing. That's more my thing. Hang on, what were these ones then? They're the chairs. They're the scary chairs that you sit on. And for some reason, it's acceptable to go... Hello, there's a little person. Hello, person. Can I click on you? Uh, a slalomer. Oh, we've got a slalom. Oh, it's you. You're the one slalom that we've got. So you have a lot of energy. You're kind of all right, satisfied, and you've not actually visited any slopes yet. But no, fair enough. Nobody else has either. Okay, right. Now they, yeah, they like the terrifying things. Oh, these I don't understand. I don't get these. These, these things seem to me like it's acceptable to go onto this little. Essentially, essentially, it's a garden seat, isn't it? It's a sort of a wooden garden bench. You sit on a bench. And, and then you don't put any seatbelts on by the look of it. And then you just go along very high up a mountain. I mean, really? It, it, madness. It's all madness. And then this here, this is more my style. Inside, but we've got heaters in there. Lovely, lovely. That is very nice. So now we need to make, let's make another slope. Uh, let's have another ski run. Can we just have the most basic of ski runs that just does that? I mean, these are all pretty, right, green. I want it just be green. So can we have a bit going like that? Oh, no, that's too... That's red. Oh, hang on. There. If we do it like that, look. Ah, we just need gentle, gentle slopes coming down. Gentle, gentle. Lovely, lovely, soft, kind of nice, calm slopes coming down there. Another one down there. And then one to there. And I think you have to click to finish it. Okay, so that is a blue... That's a blue course. Uh, blue meaning it's good. Blue meaning it's for beginners? <laughs> I don't know. So maybe we can make ourselves a beginner's course. Hang on. Can we make ourselves a beginner's course? Uh, how about we just have something going um, from there to there? Can we have that? Is that something we're allowed to do? Just have something going light. Slope must go downhill. Yeah. Is that not going downhill enough? I mean, it looks like it's going quite downhill. I thought that was going okay. Ah, there you go. One of our goals is to get to 25 skiers. The next one, 150? Good grief. Okay, Um. right. If we put that there, slope must go downhill. What do you think it's doing? It's not going uphill, is it? Slope must go downhill. Okay, fine. It's having a bit of a wobble with that. It's not very happy with me doing that. Okay, so that one is... Can we click on it and find out more about it? So that's blue. So when you click on that, that's blue. Where's our other one? Where's the terrifying one? That's just dark and that's a dark, sinister colour. So 29 people. 
Uh, and we've got, so they're split. So one beginner, six slalomers, 13 daredevils, and 11 experts. <laughs> okay, I think we might need some beginner slopes. Can we get can we get some beginner slopes in? Let's try this over here. Let's get ourselves a chairlift to the train is too steep. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? If I'm trying to make a beginner slope. Uh, okay, right, and a, a slope uh, ski run going from there. Oh, that's just too extreme as well. Do you know what? Let's just put that in anyway. Yay. <laughs> there you go, extreme people. You can have a very, very short trip and then a very quick journey down. Okay, how can I get a beginner slope in? This bit all seems lethal. <laughs> this bit all seems really dangerous. Unless I put something up there and just have a gentle slope coming down. Hang on. Can we just... Can we build the slope? Yes, exactly. Up there looks pretty good to me. Um, and let's have another gondola. If they're, if they're learners, and they probably want to be, you know, getting used to all this stuff in comfort. So let's put that there. Okay, another one of those. Oh, it's got a length. 194 meters. And then we'll just have a slope. No, that wasn't like that before. So green slope must go downhill. Yeah, okay, fine. Green. Oh, and then it's not green anymore. It's red and terrifying. Oh, whatever. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's probably terrifying as well. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, now, are, are skis, are they supposed to be like that? Or are they supposed to be bendy like this? I, I don't really know. I seem to have built quite a lot of things. We've got 45 people here. The satisfaction is 58%. The slalomers are quite enjoying some stuff. The experts are also pretty happy. It's the beginners that aren't happy. And I can't blame them. <laughs> I can't blame them. I've got some terrible stuff going on. Uh, how about a chairlift then? Um, from there to there. And then can we just have a beginner slope that just goes... We Again, that's too... It's too extreme. Slope must go downhill. So like that. Like that. Um, green. Can we make it any more green? And then there... And then there, and then there. How about that? That's got to be a nice, a nice and easy slope, surely. Surely that's got to be good. Look, ski run number five is the best one. Um, okay, right, come out of that then. Uh, so at the minute, I don't think there's that much else to do right now. I think all we get to do is design the runs, so the ski runs, the ski lifts, of which we can only put two in because we can't do a surface lift. It looks a, bit, a little bit greyed out. Can't select that. I imagine this little building sort of icon here is build these. So you build your chalets uh, and your other things as well. I imagine you could build these things, the ski centres, whatever they are. So you can build those. And I imagine you're going to get to build um, like little shops and restaurants and cafes and all that kind of stuff to rake in the monies. And then that is obviously some sort of scenery. So you can put in trees and fences and uh, other stuff. So what does everything look like? There's uh, oh, there's a snowman. Oh, that's nice. Hello, snowman. So yeah, little incidental details. I don't think they're all formulate buildings either, are they? They're all though, there's a selection of different buildings. So like that one is different to that one, which is nice. Are they mostly... No, and that one's different. Yeah, so okay, they've got sort of a variety of different sort of building layouts. They're not all just the same. They've got little incidental details. That one's got a little sledge and a wooden stump with an axe hanging out of it and all that kind of stuff. Well, there's some skis just jabbed into the jabbed into the snow there. And then the ski sticks? Ski... Uh, I don't know what they are. The ski... Th the things you hold on to. What are they called? Poles? Ski poles. I really don't know. I <laughs> don't know. But uh, okay, that's good. Now, can we... Because this is this is raking in a 73% satisfaction rating with 70 people in, which is okay. Now, can we go... Where was our other one? It was here. There we go. Can we create something over here? Are we allowed? Are we allowed to do this? I've got no idea. Let's try. So can we build over here? Uh, the lift exit is lower than its entry. Oh, dear. Right, now, I wanted to get up there, didn't I? The lift is too long. Oh, okay. You have to take many different lifts. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can we do this in multiple goes? Right, that to there. I'd like that. 142 metres. Then a chairlift from there up to there. Can we get right the way up to the top? Oh, yeah. There. Just about to the top. There. Beautiful. And then can we just get a large ski run? <laughs> just literally coming down here and terrifying the pants off of everybody. Yep, this is this is hellish, everybody. Welcome. Apart from the bottom bit, which apparently is absolutely fine. There we go. Ski run number six. I mean there's 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 trees in the runs. Do I need to do I need to clear those? Am I supposed to clear those things? 
Can I click on it? No, I can't click on the trees. Okay. So let's watch these people then. So hello. I can't... Ah, yeah, there you go. Slalomer. Where are the experts? You're a slalomer as well. Where are the expert people? Right, let's watch you go down this thing. This could take forever. This could take forever. Because look how... <laughs> Hang on. What time did he get on? What time did these poor people get on? Say, maybe if they even got on it. Right, let's watch you. So you boarded this thing at 2.15 in the in the afternoon. 2.15 you got on, my good sir. Um, how long is it going to take for you to... You just kind of clip through that building. <laughs> you just, don't, ruin the, don't ruin the chalets. They're very expensive and the people inside will not be very happy. So 2.15. So already you've been on this thing for 45 minutes and you've gone from there to there. You've got to go up to there. It's going to be midnight by the time you get up to the top. I don't, is there a time speeder? Uh, one, two, or three, or four? Maybe plus. Maybe minus. Nothing. Nothing speeds it up. Oh, dear. Okay, I think maybe you're nearly at the top. Yeah, look, they're getting on to the next ones, I think. I think that's our lot. I don't think there's anybody else left down here. No, so our lot are now on this one. So the guy we were following is on here. Yeah, I think he's just on at the back. So already he's been on here for two hours. Two hours to go up here. I mean, it better be, you'd better really love skiing if you want to do this. You better be a super fan of skiing because uh, you're going to waste three hours of your life going up the side of a hill. Okay, right. Are you nearly at the top? I, I can't find any time sliders. I just wouldn't mind things speeding up a little bit. But there we go. <laughs> Never mind. We've reached 100 skiers, so that's good. Now I'm kind of imagining that if we get to 150 skiers, nothing is going to happen because this is the alpha can free to download. Essentially, it's a demo. It's a demo version. So I don't think when we get to 150, anything's going to happen. <laughs> I just don't think it is. Right. There's these people coming down. We're going to follow our one. We're going to follow this this person here who's been on here for, <laughs> for, for hours, for uh, three and a bit hours now. It's going to be about four hours by the time they get to the top. So um, there you go. Three and a bit hours. I oh, know it's gone to day four. It just rolled round to another day. And then you come down here. Yep, so you go skiing. Can we get quite close? Oh, we can get quite close. Okay, that's about as near as we can zoom in. And then you're coming down there. I mean, that to me just looks terrifying. That's just terrifying. And then you're coming down here. The expert guys absolutely love it. 91% satisfaction. You might want to stay around those trees. I do apologise. I do apologise for the trees. Stay around the tre round the trees. You are cutting it a bit fine. You show off. Uh, okay, right. He's gone kind of through the. You might want to move. You might want to move. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Ghost trees. Right. You are. Okay. And then uh, and then he cut. Yeah. Okay. Fine. They, they clip through the trees. I think we've established that. He's going again. He's going again. You fool. Go and do something else. <laughs> Go and do something else. Right. Where can we put in a teeny tiny slope here? Surely this is good for a beginner slope. Surely. Get a gondola thing to about there. Surely this is good for a beginner slope. Hang on. A large thing to go like... Now that's got red in it as well. So a bit there. And then a bit there. And then a bit there. And then linking into here. Okay, yeah. There. So maybe that will make beginners come in. Because we've only got 15. We've got 44 slalomers. 43 daredevils. 28 experts. And only 15 beginners. So, yeah, that's that we could do with that number going up, I think. But we've nearly got to 150 people. We've nearly got to 150. I don't know how to do beginner slopes. Like, how do you do a beginner slope? I don't... Do you just go like that? Bing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's a beginner slope, everybody. It's just... It, literally, it's just, a, just a, a tiny slope. I don't know how you get up to the top of that slope. I'm not sure. Let's put another one of those in. Let's give them... I don't know if that'll work. Let's give them a chairlift. To just there. <laughs> and then they can come down on the large slope. There you go. A little teeny tiny slope for the beginners. That would be me on there. But I'd be up here face down in the snow. <laughs> going, stupid, get me tea. Okay. So it, that's, I think, we need to get to 150 skiers. Let's try and get to 150. And we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess nothing's going to happen. I'm going to assume nothing is going to happen. Okay, so I, we, we're slowly working out whether it'd be lovely if we could speed the thing up. It would be lovely if we could speed the thing up, but alas. But look, quite a lot of people coming down here. 
a lot of people enjoying the great big terrifying uh, uh, ski slope thing just there, which is encouraging. An extra beginner has joined, which is nice. Welcome to beginners. And is anyone coming down here? Oh, there is, yeah, there's a couple of people coming down here. So who are you? What are you? You are a beginner. Oh, there you go. Hello. Are you going to go on this one? Oh, good choice. Good choice. This is a very, very good... This is a very good ski slope. It, 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 classic. Classic in its design, I think you could say. It's safe to say it's classic in its design. Ah, we've got to 153. We've completed the beginner's guide. And yeah, there you go. If you build trails are satisfied, the more and more skiers will come to your resort. So uh, yeah, the minute we've kind of got more more skilled skiers coming along rather than the new guys because I, I find it quite difficult to build the new uh, the beginner sort of a uh, ski slopes but okay so it's very pretty where is our other one uh that way our other one is over there uh is that our one hang on where are that's not our one is that our one no that's not our one hang on where's our other where's our first one is there three oh there it is Okay, there's three sites on the map then. So there's that one there with the terrifying doom, the doom slide on it. This one here with the equally terrifying first thing we ever zoned out. Horrible kind of daredevil extreme thing. There's another one just here. We must be able to create some sort of utterly ludicrous arrangement of slides. And then create some absolutely farcically daft ski slopes just, that just comes up and down and round here and all sorts of nonsense let's see if we can do that <laughs> because i think we have come to the limit of this particular thing what's that they've got numbers they've been busy ski run number nine to give them plus four presumably satisfaction presumably satisfaction i imagine as well in the full game i don't know exactly what's planned i imagine you'll have uh ski schools and ski training so you know people will come here maybe people will start as beginners and then you could you know hire coaching staff and that kind of stuff and you're gonna have to have maintenance of these lifts and all that kind of stuff so it'll be a full sort of management game so that may be i mean yeah the plus four i guess is satisfaction but maybe that's them learning maybe they're getting skilled maybe this beginner will eventually level up and become a slalomer and eventually, in the long term, there'll be a daredevil. And then eventually, way, way down the line, there'll be an expert. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the full roadmap kind of thing is they want to do with it. Okay, let's try. <laughs> let's try and make a, a really stupidly vast kind of ski slope thing. Let's try and get it up to there. So let's make chairlifts. And let's just have it going as far up here as we can. Uh, so we'll have it. The lift is too long. I know I am on it. There we go. So we'll have one there. So that is a long lift. Then we'll have another lift, literally just going straight from there up to, ah, oh, the lift is too long, up to there. And then let's have another one <laughs> going there to uh, there, because that's as far as we, I want to get it up there. I want, I want one up there. We're going up to the top of the highest mountain. Right, is that the highest point on the map? Yes, it is. I believe it is. <laughs> I think it must be. Um... Oh, yeah, it's close between either there or the other one where we've already got something. So, yeah, we'll okay, right, and then we'll go, uh, we'll have another chairlift that goes along the very edge of the world. <laughs> Check this out. Ah, <laughs> uh, would I want to go on that along the edge of this gigantic <laughs> precipice? Probably not. Right, and then let's have a large ski run and let's see if we can't create something incredibly, incredibly tame and lovely at the top of this mountain. Really? Rick? Hang on, can you have it going off of the things? You can't have it going off of those things. People will die if you put them just there. People will be dead. That is mad. You can't just have it going like that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. People are going to die. Hang on. Do you know what? It lets me do it. I'm going to click it. I've, I've clicked it. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but okay. Right, and we'll have it going to... Slope must go downhill. Yeah, that's kind of how slopes work, isn't it? Um... Okay, it's not really very happy with me doing this at the minute, is it? Like that, and then like that, and then, again, the slope must go downhill. I know, I'm trying. Try I am coming down a mountain. I would have thought downhill was a kind of given. Um, okay, there, and then to where? Why, why are we not going downhill? Why are we not going downhill? Do you know what? We might have to destroy this. We might have to destroy this. No, not that. I want to destroy this silly thing. I don't want to destroy that. Hang on. Come out of that. No, that's not working either. Uh, right. Okay. Right click undo all that. Right. Put the put the terrifying chairlift at the edge of the world back on. Like so. 
right as near to the edge as we can get it. Yay, like that. <laughs> Just to terrify people. Okay, let's try that again. But let's try and make it come round here now. So like that. Like that. And then kind of round here. Because this is all going downhill. This is all this is all good stuff. This is all good, good stuff. Slope must go downhill. Yep, I'm on it. I mean, it's, it looks downhill to me. It looks terrifying. Um, how do we get it to the... Where's the thing? Where's the edge of the thing? Oh, a bit of lag going on. bit of lag there. That'll do. Bop and confirm that. Yay. Ski run 10. Ski run 10 is constructed. Now, one thing I do want to check then. Can we send them off the edge of, like, cliffs and stuff? Can we plummet them off the edge of those? Surely we cannot. Surely we cannot. Um, okay, let's let's try it, shall we? So we'll have a thing going up to uh, there, like so. And then we'll just have ourselves a large ski run going there. So let's go downhill. What do you think it's doing? Okay, how about that? That goes over a rock. And then down that way. And then to there. Like that. So how does this work? Because there's a giant rock in the way. <laughs> right, we're going to have to sit and watch if anybody uses Ski Run 11. And if they do, they're a braver person than I. Okay, I don't think anyone is going for this one. Nobody is going for the ski slope that makes you leap over a great big rock. But somebody was going up here. I saw them. Now, I don't know how... Hello, mountain! I don't know how near they are to the top. But, they, I mean, they're going to get a heck of a view. I mean, they're going to be on this thing for about three days. But, so they're on there somewhere. I don't know where about. There, there they are. Hello, you. Right, you've got to be an expert. If you're a beginner, you're in trouble. A slalomer. <laughs> you're, you're the tier two. Surely an expert should be up here on, on, the, on the doom mountain. But, okay, fine, right. You carry on, do what you need to do. Um, so yeah, they'll get to the top eventually at some point. At some point, maybe this week, they might get to the top of the mountain and get to slide down it on some sticks, which is great for them. Well done them. I mean, should I have made that slalomy? I mean, I did try, but it kept telling me that it needed to go downhill, even though I'm fairly certain that is predominantly downhill. I mean, if I were to roll down there, I think I would keep going for quite some time. So, um, yeah, okay, fine. So we couldn't make it quite as slalomy as I'd like, but hopefully at some point soon somebody is going to come down here. There they are. There they are. They're just there. <laughs> They're just there. Had to wait a little while, but they are just there. So, Slalomer, you've, I mean, you've, got, you've only got two thirds of your energy left. This is a fairly big, fairly big thing you're on. You are the first person to do this, I believe. You're the first person to do this terrifying run. Okay, okay. First person to do the castle run. Right, and down they come and... I mean, okay, I thought you might have picked up a little bit of speed, but okay. But we've got now 328 people in with a satisfaction rating of 86%. And you know what? You're just going to merrily kind of go down there. Uh, the audio is going all sorts of kind of crazy in my ear. I'm, I'll try and turn it down for the actual recording, but it is going all sorts of crazy, crackly, slow down kind of awfulness. But uh, again, it's alpha. You know, they're working on it. It's all fine. We have got 330 odd people in here. So, um,. Yeah, maybe it's not kind of optimised for that kind of number of people actually on the slopes and all that stuff yet. But there we go. I thought it was worth a look. It was worth a quick look. I don't think there's much more to that in the version that we've got now. But I just thought it was worth a little nosy at it. And I guess in the future, when they start adding all those bits in, like you know, the instructors and the cafes and the restaurants and the different sort of levels of chalets and hotels and all that kind of stuff and paths and scenery and all that, I imagine this is going to be a very, very good little game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, what I do need to do before this comes out is learn about ski slopes and ski terminology because that probably would help when the full version comes out. But yeah, I think I got totally away with it. I got absolutely away with it. And this, you know, this being the ski centre and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but there we go. Yeah, let's wrap up for now. So yeah, yeah it, well, that was Snowtopia. If you are interested, if you want to give this a go yourself, then uh, yeah, there is a link to the website where you can get a version for your particular machine of choice for free as it currently stands right now as I record this video anyway. But yeah, there we go. All done for now. If you did enjoy this, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe just to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why never ever employ him he's terrible this place is full of rats timothy rubles with your kind of crazy eyes you have tea leaves in one of my shops <laughs>